Giant Dog. What's going on, guys? Welcome to I'd Back That Kickstarter with Glory Hound. Dr. Glory Hound. Greg Dixon. Why are we doing it like this? Brett's up all day. We were dancing, like, from the music that we can't actually hear, so we make up the music in I our heads. <laughs> hey, you're, you're ruining the magic. Let them oh, think sorry. you can hear it. <laughs> It's like a rave in here before the camera like No, on. then they would be like, why are they dancing so terribly like to that beat. music? Yeah. I'm like, like doing a waltz. <laughs> I have an 80-pound dog like on my leg right now. You do. We Jeez. need we need to get Hold post pictures of the dog. Like the if dog. If you've ever had like one of those ottomans that you can put storage in and you filled it with lead weights. That's oh my like, god. That's what my dog looks and weighs. So thanks for everybody joining awesome. us today. Let's see who we have here. We have Alan. Welcome, Alan. Oh, Who I'm else I'm was here. there? I'm going to know Ma Martin, Martin Poole. Poole. We had, I'm sure Vincent will be here. I, why isn't Vincent if, here? Oh no. He's always here. If he's not here, I just assume he's oh dead. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm dialing nine. What's he? What? Someone called 999. Aww. Martin, what's the code for 911 in Britain? What's 999? Wow. Is it 999? Yeah. I th no, it's from uh, IT crowd. It's like 999-1565-432-991. Easy. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's the code. So Alan's signing up for PAX Unplugged. I want to go to PAX Unplugged so bad. So bad. So just like, go. Welcome well, Battle Cry. Welcome ST. Ooh, ooh. Australia. Well, I thanks wish, for joining I wish us. I was like joining in from like a cool place. I'd be like, but Morocco. How do you know this isn't a cool place? Arizona. It's Arizona. It's hot. Nobody wants There's to lots of people in Europe it's that want to know what cactuses are like. Cacti? That's a true thing. Well, cacti. I'm that's sure true. they're cacti? really excited. I've just ruined all my Fun Arizona guys. credibility. I'm sorry, yeah. guys. I'm sorry. The plural is cacti. <laughs> what are we talking about today? We're talking about cryptex. We're talking about game toppers. Pret We're talking about Pret the Polte. And Pangea. And Pangea. So let's get started. Oh, we're just going to go right into it. Uh, yeah, yeah, we are. Yeah, that's, okay. that's how we do it. I we're thought that's how we do it. We're going to whip guys. out our Pangea. All right. Just gonna hit play First up, just well, I'm, oh, my God, I'm trying to. You could I have so many things to do here, guys. Oh, my God. I thought that's <laughs> why you got the stream deck. It doesn't do that for you, huh? Why is I have, there like, too many things on the on table. The table that's for cutting things open. Does this the threaten us if we oh get out of line? Oh, my gosh. What is this? Oh, uh, Kabuki knife? Kid's here. So we didn't see Kabuki Kid last week. Thanks for joining Welcome us. Welcome Oh, back. my gosh. Well, Kabuki Kid knew I wasn't going to be here Oh, and that's what it was. So Kabuki they Kid's needed like, the what's Greg. What's the point? The Greg. Yeah. All right. First up, we have <laughs> Pangea. I see Greg, I always think, what's the point, too? Oh. This is by Red Imp Games. <laughs> it's for two to four players. It lasts about 90 to 120 minutes. Why it happened. Vincent's alive. Yay. Oh, thank God. Vincent. <laughs> we were worried, buddy. <laughs> Keep eating those Cheerios. He People are accounted for. Are he was two minutes and 58 seconds left. Less. <laughs> Late. What were your guys? He's, he's been waiting so since like 11 p.m. Oh, you two deceased. failed Kabuki Kid last week. Sorry oh about no. that. Yeah, that's terrible. Stupid you two. All right. I mean, we're we love always, you, you two. We're always here at noon. Just always. Like, yep. even when there's not a show, we just sit here and look at each other blankly. Oh, uh, look how many exclamation marks Vincent gave the word Greg. So. Uh, that's how excited he is to see me. I don't why see a, though? I don't see a Derek. With exclamation marks. That's because he loves me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Jesus. <laughs> Sorry. What are we talking about? Oh, Pangea. Pangea. <laughs> yes. This is a cool premise. Okay. It, which is funny because we said the endangered premise where you're trying to save endangered animals was like too like much. We didn't like that. Heavy, yeah. Kind of a heavy what's, thing What's the difference game? between that well, and this? This is, this you're is kinda more sci-fi. You're kind of trying to save like the planet almost. Yeah, this is more sci-fi. Like you're facing a, a, an extinction event. And so you're running a simulation on past extinction events to determine sort of how we can save ourselves. I mean, it's sci-fi, but it's probably like... Spoilers. Uh, we can't save ourselves. <laughs> it's too Spoilers. late. Spoilers. Spoilers. We don't deserve to be saved. <laughs> There's no, there's no being saved. <laughs> Do we deserve to be saved? <laughs> oh, wow. Good <gasps> deal. It, it looks lovely. Like, the game looks, I mean, very well put together. So I love... Yeah, the simulation is distant past when all the continents were one. It was a major, the, the biggest extinction yeah. event in our history. And we're playing we super continent. We're playing these extinct uh, species. Which is funny because I just saw a meme that explained all this. It was like somebody invented a dog and then God was like, what's this? And he's like, it's a dog. He's like, I want more of these. He's like, but we've got all those Aww. lizards. He's like, kill the lizards. <laughs> Whoa. That's got rid of all the That's dinosaurs. That's just science. To put dogs out. Because he saw a corgi and he was like sold. But how do you feel about the game? Because it, like wait I said, it looks. Wait a minute. Vincent says he likes you the most. Well, everybody knew that. Gosh. No. <laughs> All right. As long as I'm second, Vincent, I can Guys, go on. Guys, everybody likes me the most. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm more. sorry. Yeah. I will slightly say more than me. Honestly. He hasn't even mentioned you yet. Yeah. 
Honestly, <laughs> my favorite person in this room, it's my dog, Tex. Come on, buddy. Aww. Tex, come here, Tex. Come here, Tex. Come here, buddy. You're I the man. Come here. Tex. He says, oh, I jumped up. Is he in the shot yet? Oh, no. Come on, a little more. I don't know if you ah, can. Ah, ah, he doesn't ah, like to no. do that. Trying to get like yeah. a snout. Tex, he'll be super something. scared. He'll scared. be scared. Went behind. All right, I think you were saying something. Yes, I was trying. I was trying to make points. We're supposed to be talking about Kickstarters this week, guys. You just summed up it's the whole game. Like, it's like... Sometimes we get together and it's like you haven't seen each other in a while and you're just like <laughs> freaking okay, no, ridiculous. Just ridiculous. Oh, okay. Oh, this is cool. Servilium. I'm probably pronouncing it. Or Servilium. I just finished a book by a paleontologist about the history of uh, dinosaurs uh, when uh. this popped off a of Kickstarter. So, so I, I couldn't, couldn't resist. resist. Oh. Servilium is definitely I do not like a vampire. I That's do definitely <laughs> not a vampire <laughs> name. Like ah, Ellen ah. likes you, Derek. There you go. See, Alan there you likes go. me. <laughs> That's somebody. It's a pity like at it's best. It's not a pity, a pity like. like. All right. But I do like, uh, t to Sir V. Liam's point, I do like that this kind of, even though it's sort of sci fi y, I do like that it has kind of a, a science kind of theme going. I like the, the prehistoric, you know. It gives you a lot of information well, because yeah. it does talk about the supercontinent of Pangea cool. and then it's cool. going through the different extinctions. It's going to sound funny, but I like I love the art because I always, that the was like my rad. favorite part of like zoo books and stuff yeah. when I was a kid was like, Seeing the extinct animals and be like, well, that used to be Did on you, our planet. You talk about the magazine zoo books. Yeah. I used to go to the library and check those out all the time. I just got my kids some of them. I Do love they still but make I those? Used, yeah, I, I just really liked all the different animals that yeah. existed. Like to think that at one point in time there was this giant meat eating bird yeah. that was like the biggest predator on our planet at one time. So yeah. just really think about how stuff has happened. How's birds are spoiler? birds are meat eaters. I mean, like this. Yeah, but they were that giant has not changed. That has not That's changed. Not a spoiler. I'm talking That's about the terror bird. <laughs> oh, okay. There's a giant okay. bird that used to be the top predator on the planet, and then it was like, then it was mammals, and then at one point in time it was, like you know, dinosaurs. It's just interesting to see all the different things, and you know, there used to be giant spiders. Yeah, giant leaves. Everything was huge. Yeah. All right. So the Everything pieces on this, then. except for Texas, it was smaller, which is weird. <laughs> it's paradoxical. The but pieces on this here look fantastic. The they pieces look good. The art looks yeah, good. Yeah, they have a great paleontology like but yeah. what about esque look to them. Diogenics. And We're not even talking game. about that well, right why now. Are we talking about I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Right guys, I, I apologize. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, guys. I like the little like tokens that look like mm -hmm. you're... The art is killing it in this. The only thing that I really have to say about this is the fact that if I want to look at actual gameplay on this, I have to watch somebody's two video hours. that's like yeah that's like a two hour explanation this on one it that you happen to stop super on. The board game brawl one summed yeah. it up pretty well did a good job but it was I still watched ant labs yeah this one was still like 25 minutes long though. yeah it's yeah. Okay. i watched the ant labs one and that one was two hours because it was a full gameplay through i don't right. feel like you i like that they it. provide that though if someone wants to go that you know but dive I think that you deep need, like one of those and the rest should be kind of more like trailers for yeah the, the shortest ones were like 25 minutes long on yeah and that's not that's not cool like when i'm looking down at a kickstarter page i want to know the mechanics of the game in five minutes i want to no know exactly what we're going with in the game like i want to know exactly okay here's how you're you go through your first turn here's what you're doing is this worker placement is it not like i know nothing about this game if i hadn't watched any of those other videos we, <laughs> we have no affiliation with tantrum house but I always look for their videos because they yeah. sum up these games really concisely. Uh, we're going to talk about Preta Porte later. Well, I like and theirs is like nine minutes, whereas everyone else's is like 20 plus, you know? Well, I like this. And of this them one do does not have them. They split it. Like Rado does, like, here's me playing it, and then yes. here's my final thoughts. I've liked, I always like that too because I like to kind of see a little bit of play. <laughs> And then the final <laughs> thoughts, but I, d I don't want to see a two-hour. You're making cat laugh. Vincent, Vincent, Vincent knows me too well. I'm gonna explode in a minute for we're real. We're talking about. I need the to game? get everybody. I, I, we're, we're gotta get back on track, guys. It's an area Jeez. control game. We're literally game. talking about the videos about that the was, game. That was that was the part that I liked about the game is the fact that it is yeah. area control and that you're placing all your organisms there and graphs. everything in certain areas and you're trying to take over those areas organisms. and you're trying to get them to organisms. organisms. You're trying to get them. <laughs> To organism. have growth and to survive. And you're trying to dodge those growth. horrible events that are going to be happening. Moist. And as well as you have, like, that player interaction they with each other. Moist growth. Um, so have you guys played Dominant Species? This reminds me very much from it. It feels like it borrows from that game. Uh, it's it's not quite as long. I play Dominant Species every Friday night when the kid's <laughs> over at Grandma's house. But because I oh, don't is that a different game? I'm not even going to explore what you mean by that. Hmm. But... Uh, Dominant Species is in like the top 100. It's a great game. Yeah. Yep, yep. You know, mm -hmm. we don't play it as often as we'd like, but this feels 
like similarly trod area ground as that one. And so for me, that's my hesitation with this just because that's a game I already love. Oh, okay. That's acclaimed that I don't get to the table enough. I don't think I need another one of these. But I would not discourage anyone from backing this one because to me it looks pretty clean. I think, yeah, I think if you are interested in this, in area control and this type of theme, it, it's worth getting it because you get really cool, like, Kickstarter stuff like these things yeah. here. Like, I would not want the game without these <laughs> because they look so freaking cool, yeah, you know? Yeah, they look rad. Right. But for me, I'm not 100% sold on this yet. And I feel like it has a lot of the aspects I like. It has a science scientific background Which to I it. Love, it yeah. looks amazing, but I just don't feel like I've had enough look at, like, the gameplay or Which, the... Do you need another two-hour video? I don't need another two-hour video. I need a more concise, like... Maybe I just need to go and read the rules. I maybe think I saw that they were PDF download. We download. I feel like that's where I'm at on this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would love Although to try this because it looks cool. But like I said, it, it's similar enough to other things I have. I feel like this is one that you would like to see at a convention. You play like four rounds of, and that would either just make it or break it for you. Right. You know, like I don't need the whole game. I need to play a couple rounds of it to go like, okay, this looks like it's interesting. It has a great price point. It also feels bucks. like it borrows from Blood Rage a little bit with like the whole, like there's a, a section that's going to be destroyed, which is kind of like Blood yeah. Rage as the different ages happen. There's certain, you know, you're in the apocalypse basically. Here you're in like an extinction event, but... This feels like a marriage of Dominant Species and Blood Rage, two games I already love okay. that I don't play as much as I'd like to. You know what I mean? That's fair. This is a good Kickstarter, though. Like yeah, it's well laid out for the most part. Like you said, there's not any short, concise videos. But other than that, I feel like the, the bits right? are good. Well, the price point is reasonable. Yeah. What's more expensive as a hobby, horses or boats? Uh, oh, shoot. I don't know. I think I Kabuki know. Kid both maybe too expensive can for me. answer that for us. I think it's boats because it's always bring another thousand. That's what boat stands for. <laughs> yes. Everything is expensive. My dad had a boat that was somebody else's boat, and we ended up spending thousand dollars just to store it. it so was ridiculous. with he Alan, twice. Alan's also saying, I like this yeah, topic discussion. he got the I'm EB pledge, <laughs> but yeah, it's cool. I need to understand the gameplay, and I totally agree with that. And I just, I think it's, I just don't have any patience for waiting for like a twenty-five minute preview well, of something it seems like you have uh, a certain amount of like points that you're using like blood rage you have a certain uh, like four different actions you can take you're populating the board there's limitations on how you can move to dominate different areas i mean it dominate it feels like stuff that's been done before but if it's just packaged like a little well, bit themed and differently yeah maybe. but if it's packaged well it, it could be it could be that it's better than things i was gonna say before. here's the reverse to that what if this get, like scratches that blood rage right. and dominant species right. in one game exactly and then you feel like i could play that this sounds one really nice like actually i, I like that games. yeah to me, I it's think it's you it's just it sold me on it, Greg. What's it's the price of this bad boy? Like fifty-five. Fifty-five, but I think it's got like fifteen dollars shipping to the states. Well, so it's a seventy-dollar investment, but it's still not unreasonable. But this these is yeah. a small 15. enough game company, though, that yeah, I don't 15. know if we'll see it in retail. Well, that's the other concern, right? Yeah. I don't think they've done a lot of other things. They haven't. They or at least haven't nothing done a lot that I've things. played. So that's a little hesitation too for like a big seventy dollars control investment. Like I'm more investment. likely to invest in a smaller game company because I don't like I'm not going to see this at a garage sale later. Where like some of the other ones, you're like, oh, I'll see this at a right. Black Friday well, sale. Well, like Pret a Porter is Portal Games. You'll be able to buy that through any of your online game yeah. stores right, or right. FLGSs. You'll see it at you Gen know, Con. In six you'll see it around. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Greg, would you back this game? I think I'm a pass, but I'd love to try it somewhere because it, it scratches a lot of itches that I'm interested in. I like the science. I like area control. We should go have these on it. Okay, but we keep it in my house. <laughs> 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 Dr. Glory Hog, would you back this? I'm at a 7.5, which means like I'm leaning towards backing it, but I'm not completely. Do you need sold a 10 yet. in order to back? Is that how that? Yeah, I think scale so. Works? I don't know. I didn't really think it ahead of time. <laughs> yeah. You know but what? It's the theme I like. The two hours makes me leery because if I yeah, don't because like it, it is a longer that's game. A hell of an investment. But this is two to four like. players, right? Yeah. So I yeah. wonder if. If it's an area control that actually know. works at two players, so they played that's it. another selling point. So that would be huge. Yeah. Yeah. That would be huge. Yeah. And they did it, and it took them a good two hours. Like, and that oh. there's just two of them. So Who did? Uh, Ant Labs did. Oh, okay. And it took them like two hours. But that was them discussing it yeah. as they played. Yeah. Right? But there wasn't yeah. like a huge review at the end or anything. It was just a solid like solid that was them two playing. hours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Next up, what do we have? If I can get there. Is it Porta? Porte? Porte. No, Porte. 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 Why Porte they right by then? Portal Games. This is for two to four players. Lasts about 90 to 120 minutes. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at it's Pret. It's Pret uh, Porter. Pret yes. uh, Porter. 
Yes, that is the That's how you say ugly it? American way to say it. Yeah. yeah. I'll porter. Like, like you I just like to you pret sound my buddy porter over you here. You sound uneducated whenever pret you do it. You have to, I told you, you have to say like pret to porter. Do you think I'm worried about something With uneducated? the pinky. I'm a doctor. With the pinky. <laughs> a BS. <laughs> <It's enough. laughs> that was the longest moment of silence. Because it was like too I'm many like <laughs> bad things were coming I'm to my mind. And then stream. it was like. So they could hear the edit, silence. Edit, if edit, edit. the podcast, we would have cut all that out. <laughs> <laughs> What's the podcast? I had to get past all the bad things first is yes. what it was. We have to edit ourselves <laughs> too much. I like how she's like, thinks of all these horrible things to say about her own husband. I'm like, you're the dummy who married you. She just came up with like a list. Five points for the doctor. I BS'd you too. All right, guys. <laughs> she's processing all the insults. Too much this language, can't say it. Too personal. <laughs> He'll be right? mad later. And so it's just silence. <laughs> This game looks amazing. Oh, Kabuki Kid wants us to do the whole oh my discussion like this with our pinky out. I'll do it. So this game looks positively amazing, let me tell you. So fully first fully, off, fully, fully, fully. I love the fact that you are drafting your employees as well as your designs. I'm not going to say what kind of accent it sounds like she <laughs> I don't. I don't have a French accent. I don't know. This, okay. Enchanté, madame. The last <laughs> one was made for me because it's area control and science. I love okay. that. This one's running a company. I love company. I love economic games right. where you're like ahead of a business. There's so many good examples, whether it's like a corrupt business like Ponzi scheme or it's <gasps> a choir Spoilers. or smartphone ink. Or, I mean, there's just so many examples in my collection and games I've played, Stockpile, right. where you're kind of running a company, and I love economic simulations I love like the that. running company portion yeah. of this, too. And I like the fact that, that, that you have really excited. four different shows that you have to compete with your line in, and I like that part of it yeah, as well. Yeah, it simulates like a year in the fashion <laughs> world, and there's like the quarters, and you're spending the first two-thirds of your quarter sort of developing your line and figuring everything out, and then you have to show. Mm -hmm. And and you hope that you know you compete and you're making profit throughout the course of the year, and so it's this cool combination of points and money at the end wins. Well, uh, I love that, and I love that this is a game that was out right seven eight this years is a ago. Remake. Ha yeah, it's a it's. A, I mean, this one is this a decade in the making. This no, this game was uh, um, a, a grail game for a lot of people for a lot of years, and I remember when it came and went. With like a thousand print run, and then it was like, oh, I want this back. We and missed it. And now it, here it is. Mm -hmm. So I now mean, it's uh, that's exciting. Magenta Lizard is saying it's too fiddly for them. So it's hard to tell. For saying me that, until saying I play that, it, yeah. yeah. A lot of the older style games and stuff that were on the market were a bit fiddlier because they don't they didn't have the same streamlineness and easy to learn aspects as they do today. You know. Ah. Uh, I think I would debate that a little bit. Yeah. It goes on, yeah I think Euros have become more bloated with time. They oh, really? Used to be they more try to add more stuff to them. Yeah, you think about they've got to add in stuff from like these five other Yeah, you games. think of a game like Lisboa or something, like the big acclaimed Euros of today, there's a lot going on. Whereas like something like Kalis or some of these Euros of the past, they were more streamlined. Yeah. They were still difficult. They were still challenging, but the rule set was simpler mm. to digest. Now, that's, it's a, that's a very sweeping sort of thing, but with this one... I my assumption is this is not going to be as heavy as it looks. How Probably do you not. how do you guys feel about the theme? I so love the theme. It's running a business. Yeah, I'm all about it. So for that's me, that's a selling point for me. I don't play worker placements just because I love the idea of a worker placement. I don't play euros just because I love the idea of a euro. Like it's got to be sold on the theme. And uh, as you can see by my awesome apparel here, fashion is just not my thing. <laughs> I could care less. We're all black so t-shirts and like, jeans, yeah, by the I'm way. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm not against it. I'm sure it's it's great to have a lot of different themes because there are people that are art people. There's people that are fashion people. There's people that are Vikings. There's people that want to be cowboys. I mean, you need to have all these different themes. This theme just doesn't do anything for me. I'm not excited about selling dresses or designs or, I mean, I don't really, yeah, I don't know. Economic games don't speak to me on, on a, on a level either, but I like I liked Raccoon Tycoon because it was like, sure. oh, you're a bunch of animals. It's an auction selling. game more yeah, than an economic and, and game. Yeah, I think I like the auction yeah. more than the economic. I don't think I like a lot of economic games. So, so it's a pass based off of just. What I it have is. to agree with you, Greg. I love economic games, and I love the fact that you're there running your business, yeah. and I love that. Why don't you run this business? She is. I do run oh. this business. <laughs> I love it so much. I Why love you marry it? that it has that aspect of oh gosh, what was the 
renegade game one where you were in like the circus and you were building up all the people, but then you had like the Excel. different. Yes, I love the fact that you have the fashion show at the you know four different times of right, the year and stuff, right. and that you're aiming for those things in a long term way. You know, yeah. like that portion of the game sells me on this. I'm yeah. like, oh, like the mechanics seem super awesome. And I agree I'm with Kabuki you Kid. Really you know, if you've grown up playing war games and you're used to those sort of games with a lot of different rules, like that doesn't turn me off at all. Like, I'm like, all right, yeah, I can I can go through all this very easily. Kabuki Kid brings up a good point. There was a rumor for a while that they were going to retheme this as running like a video game company. Oh. I don't know. Would that sell that you would more be interesting. or less? It'd be, yeah, it'd be more interesting to me because yeah. I actually like video games and I've watched you know documentaries on video games and I've like looked more into video game and video game yeah. design and it's something that I like. So, <laughs> sorry, random <laughs> screaming from the bottom of our floor. To There's me, dogs and bears. To me, if I'm running a company, if it's an economic simulation, I don't really care what the company is. But see, I do. Theme is important for me. I'm not particularly invested in, you know, selling smartphones either. But I love smartphone ink. <laughs> so you know what I mean? Or, or, see, I like, but I, see, or I even the stock market. Like, I'm not a big <laughs> stock market see, person. I but I like Acquire and Stockpile. I thought about working in the stock market, and I used to sell cell phones as a okay. job. So, like, those were more interesting to okay. me. If this was 80 style with a Stranger Things free skin <laughs> and you're the oh kids my trying gosh. to sell fluorescent oranges and pinks and stuff like that, I'd be all in. <laughs> I'm all in Stranger Things right now. Stranger Things. Yeah. The Predator 80s, the yeah, 80s would have been like in the 80s. Stranger Things edition. Great, like magenta and green like triangles for no reason. Like so you'd like this triangles. to be the same thing but retro, like 80s fashion. Yeah, then I might be All more interested. All leg warmers oh and my mesh God. Uh, tank tops <laughs> for men. Dude, I'm telling you, I had – so guys, I had a yellow shirt that had this like mangy-looking cat on it. It was yellow. It was a midriff. Above I the am belly disappointed and you're not wearing mesh. that today. And it was mesh. And I'm pretty sure my mom bought it for me, and I don't know why I wore it. She but wants you to be able to attract day, all the ladies. It is the only shirt that I can remember ever wearing <laughs> as a kid because it was so ridiculous. Did you <laughs> – <laughs> Did people uh, embrace your wearing of that shirt, or, or were people I negative? Know. I was probably like eight or nine. <laughs> that's, so how was was <laughs> that's how it was unaware. back in the eighties. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna say this one was a win for me. I would, I would totally this play this game. This looks exciting. Of, yeah. It's sixty in. bucks. I am least interested in this one. Portal Games is a great company. Really, I've gotten a lot of stuff from Portal Games. Yeah. Everything looks fantastic in this game. I will say with Portal Games. The rule books are sometimes not the best. But yeah, so bit be aware of that going in. I, is the rule book online here? Uh, I, I did not see. I did that. not see if but there was a PDF been or not. Established, so I would imagine the rule book's probably fine. They probably didn't. I would edit hope it so. I would hope so. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure they didn't come in and like rewrite the whole rule book. That would. But really, that's so. my only. Uh, the the price, which is not cheap but not bad, is sixty bucks though. For yeah, this? it's a little that that and well, the potential. Well, we just looked at one that was fifty five. Right, and right. Like that yeah. one there had that a fifteen dollar, yeah, fifteen dollar shipping. shipping. No, probably, probably not. not but you're still so. ranging right around the same. But it's the amount of game you get for the buck. So I feel like this is not. Since I'm not particularly excited about this game, I it's going to be a play once for me, maybe once every eight years or something. I'm not excited about it. Where the Pangea one, if I like it, I can well see playing that Well, this is more about like this year. plays well with two. I could see playing this a lot. Yeah. I don't think it's super long, but right? But well, they're like they're the same. They're the same for players. They're both two to four players. Right, they're, they're both, both ninety hours. to one hundred and twenty minutes. Right. And they're both in the same price range, and that's yeah. sixty to fifty-five dollars. So, right. so I'm, I can't help but compare the two. And out of the two, I would go Pangea. But they're completely different games because Pangea's right. area control yeah. game, as you're going through, oh is I very understand. scientific. And I'm then this one, one here want, is though. more like drafting and uh, economic building, yeah, economy I building. I want to save the planet. I don't want to. Draft skirts <laughs> and try to trade skirts. <laughs> All right, so, prices. Greg. This is of the three the one I'm, I'm most, most interested by. in. Yeah, yeah. Dr. Glory Hogg. 100% pass. All right, I and pass. I'm going to say this is a win for me. I really like this game. I'd back that. I'd back that. Uh -huh. It looks good. It looks good. Kid agrees with me. Portals if we want to go back, are not always great. Mm. If we want to go like way, way, way back to the podcast, I don't like it. Oh, Instead my of, gosh. I don't like it. I don't I don't like like it. it. So next up, we have Cryptex. Pass. This is by Inside the Box Board Games. It's for one to five players, and it is seven to ten hours back worth. It. I would back this. Worth right of now. content. Don't so tell me anymore. I think you're jumping ahead a little. No, you're it's like 20 bucks, and it's like it's under $30. It's like seven to eight hours. I'm this is like okay. way cheaper This is than a campaign-driven <laughs> game <laughs> where you have <laughs> up to 53 <laughs> puzzles <laughs> that you can go ahead and play in this. this game, and you don't have to do it in a chronological order. You can do it here and yeah. there and right. piece through it Puzzle and everything. Right. I'm a little c confused by the, the tiers on this. 
Because mm -hmm. it seems like puzzle. well, no, like the uh, levels to back. Because it seems okay. like there's a level that's the whole game, but like missing. Because the next level will be so like everything like you got before, but like the essential tools that you'll need this time. And I'm I like, wait, yeah, what? I think they're more. It's in there, but I think it's more just like thematic stuff. Like it's like a I little. I think so. It's like a little letter opener thing. And yeah. It's like a little envelope, and it's not like you. You get the whole game at the lowest level. Right. Which is 26 bucks. Right. So assuming it's all there, it is kind of like hard to pass on a 26 right. uh, on, on a $26 game. It's seven hours? to ten hours of content or for 26. Yeah. It's, it is kind of hard to pass. But I was just confused by the tier level. I felt like they could have done a better job explaining. Yeah, I like it when they actually break it down. They say, you know, like here's the game, and then yeah. here's what you get. And then they're like, this t tier level, here's the game, what you get. Like, keep scrolling down. I love puzzle-style games. So, so this was like right up the alley. Undergraduate, like everything you need, it sounds like, for 26. And then Cryptex and the Adventure postcard. And then if you scroll down, it's like, every wait, every adventure Archaeologist needs notebook. the right tools. In addition to the postcard and professor's notes, you'll get a supply of essential tools. So I'm like, wait. Essential tools? Like, does that mean I don't have the essential tools in the last tier? Like, wow. that just kind of <laughs> tripped me up a little bit. Keep, if you keep scrolling down, when like you use the, the word essential, it makes me think: if I back the other tier, am I not getting something that's I think essential that to the each to the item, experience? I you know? think that each item adds to the experience because yeah. you could have not have the archaeologic. Or I'm sorry, like the map, the archaeologic. Notebook or right. the map, but those things are probably going to help so you, like, like visually. I think so. I think yeah, so. Yeah. Especially the notebook because but that's the whole premise of the story. Even the highest tier is not expensive. It's like forty something, right? Mm, let's see. Yeah, forty yeah. on that one. Yeah, and even then, first that has plus hours. That's more than you get out of a lot of different Deluxe things. Map. So, like, Stephanie and I just did the Escape Tales, The Awakening, which is kind of a similar thing. You're going through this mystery. It was about it's probably seven hours worth of content for mm -hmm. us. And uh, it was like 25 bucks. It was great. It was totally worth it. So, yeah. this is this is tempting. I don't know if they have any track record. So, there's that nervous of nervousness of, like... They have, like, they have uh, eight games that they've created. Yeah. But f five of them have funded, I think. I don't know if any one. of them are this style. So, mm -hmm. it's like... They aren't this style. I believe. Yeah. I remember looking at them because I also went back and I was like, what is, is their track record? There's there always like the yeah. concern, like, how well will the app work and all that. But it's not a huge gamble, especially this if you go at the lowest level. Also, yeah. as you're contributing money to it, you also get the app for it. Yeah. So that's always nice. It's right, not like, right. okay, in addition, now you have to you spend have another to X, yeah, yeah. X amount of dollars right. for this app. So you can go through the app online. I think that with the archaeological... Oh, who mentioned the Wilson Wolf affair? Archaeology. Uh, archaeological. I, uh, I want to hear if they played that because we backed that one and we were kind of disappointed. Which with one? The, the Wilson Wolf affair. It's a similar idea. Ah, okay, it's okay. supposed to be like 20 hours worth. But you had to, like, assemble everything. It was very expensive. The box it came in was lackluster. So, like, mm. we were – we haven't delved into it yet, but so far we're kind of like, ugh. And that hesitation for the Wilson Wolf Fair is part of my hesitation here because if you don't have a track record of making these, I don't know if it's going to be good if or it's if gonna it's going to be good one or lame. Not. We have so much experience doing escape rooms and playing the exit games and all that kind of stuff. Well, and you know what you're going into. Yeah, that I'm, like I we, think we we're kind of picky, you know. We just got the undo, and undo is completely I different try those, yeah. than exit and completely different than unlock. And so y there's okay. definitely a difference between so all three So Kabuki of them. Kid, you saying the Wilson Wolf Affair is worth the time? Because we were a little annoyed with having to assemble everything. It what felt like it was misrepresented. Is get Kabuki Kid's number, and then if you run into any problems, you can just give him a text. <laughs> Seriously, it's tempting. Give her a text, yeah. yeah. No, I'm glad to hear Kabuki Kid say it's worth the time, <laughs> because once we assembled the thing, or I should say my wife assembled everything while I was working. You guys fell out of love? It was like, oh my gosh, it felt Failed misrepresented. Yeah. Well, we haven't started it yet. It also was kind of like, where do we start with all this? It felt kind of like overwhelming, but anyway. I Sounds like you're weak. Okay, I, so I right I, here, I That's not the word. The I digress. <laughs> Greg, the notebook <laughs> is a fox leather notebook yeah. for you to like write things in. Faux yeah. leather. Yeah. Yeah. I like fox. Why? Wait, what are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> the notebook. Yeah. So if you wanted the notebook, it's not actually it part of the thing. It yeah. looks like it's just pages yeah. for you to write notes okay. in and so stuff. Just, and then the map just, yeah, is extras. just going to be something like really so nice that you can put out on the table. $40 to get a yeah. like, notebook yeah. that you don't care about. But if you want the notebook, you That's can. cool. That's cool then. Yeah, so a it it's twenty five dollars, and then you have an app and everything. Now, guys, if you guys like puzzle games, I just started doing the Journal Twenty Nine, and that's another really oh. like super simple Stephanie's puzzle done game. Some of that one as oh, well. it's so good. Yeah, she had fun, she's I had like fun with it. it, and that's a little bit of an app based sort of thing too. And I think that's kind of how this one's gonna go, where you have the app, but it's gonna be a little bit more than the Journal Twenty Nine because 
Journal 29 just gives you like question answer. Okay, here's put in the answer and then you get your right. code. With this one, it's going to give you a story yeah. whenever you do the app, which I think is nice. Uh, apparently, you've been saying fox leather wrong your whole life. Listen, it's, it's they call leather. them fox hawks, right? Faux hawks, fox hawks. I don't know. Right? I, just, I just know that word is faux. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. You know I'm pretty sure Fo. that they also Fo. say fox hawks, right? I don't even know what fox hawks is. What is that? It's, it's a faux hawk where you have oh, like the no, they call those faux hawk. It's a faux hawk. It's a fox hawk too. No, like a mohawk. It rhymes with mohawk. It's yeah, but they call it fox hawk because it sounds really? cool. Okay, yeah, I don't know. I think I've they call it fox hawk because it sounds fox. cool. All that matters, guys, <laughs> is Vincent has the giggles. We don't have to actually <laughs> figure this out. Vincent's entertained. That's what matters. All you right. sound so unintelligent now. For oh my gosh. 25 bucks, I'm 100% on this. Like 25 bucks. Puzzle game? Yeah, I'll it's, do it. It's pretty, it's pretty safe bet. It's so, it's I'm so on affordable. The fence. I'd have to try it before I buy it. Too bad. <laughs> Too bad. We're going to get it. Remember the me <laughs> slamming down back it? Like I'm a little on the fence as well just because I, I don't know. I, I've done so many of these that I think I'm kind of picky. And it could just be like, oh, this is just generic puzzles. I was joking. I yelled that I would back it right away. If anybody has I, I am a little on the fence. The Journal 29 books, because I see Kabuki Kid and Magenta Lizard both have them. Let me know what pages you're on. Because I think I'm on like 15 or 16. I need to ask Stephanie we just got too. it. Yeah. We just got it within this last like month or two or something we like were that. Doing it so with the kid for part of summer break. And yeah. Like yeah. I haven't even gotten to look at it. She sent me a picture one time. She's like, "Hey, we're stuck on this puzzle." And I'm like, "I need way more reference <laughs> than just a page." <laughs> that's all I'm we like, got was just the page. Right. That's all they but give I was like, you. "One page." A, I was like, "Is this a game? What are you doing this on? Is this like on a video?" <laughs> like I was very confused. All right, so I win with this one. I will tell you, St. The game to back is Dinogenics. <laughs> What, are we not covering that this week? It's, it's a yeah, Dinogenics. So yeah. Oh, I see. But I see. Dinogenics mm -hmm. is on Kickstarter right now. Which we probably we will talk about Dinogenics one. next week because it's too good to pass up oh, to talking about. Oh, we should about. also mention that if you're interested in Pangea, it literally has like less than three days left. Yeah. yeah. All so of these are kind of short. That one All of these are kind of short. We got six days well, the other on one was this like one. 10, I think. Pret -Porter. Pret well, this one just went, though, I think. it's like 10 days, right? No, yeah, I think they did a, four, a yeah, fifteen day days. campaign oh, or something. Yeah, yeah. So that one's got some time. But if you're interested in Pangea, like it's, it's ending three days. Yeah, it's ending on like uh, Monday or Sunday. I know. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, so sixty-eight hours, eight hours guys. Yeah. So make sure to jump on that, that if you want to. Okay. I'm not a mathematician. I just work in payroll. But <laughs> of these three, Predaporte Pret has the best like a uh, track record. You know, it's, it's come out before. It was already acclaimed. It was up for awards. It feels like the safest bet of the three to me. Next up, we have the Game Toppers 2.0 tables. Time. Okay, so I saw these I in person. Yeah, well we've actually played on these. Oh, my gosh. So I played on Have these you seen the new ones? For uh, they had them at, I think it was the new ones. Maybe not the new ones. They had so them at Dice Tower Con, though. So I played on these for two solid days at Come On Expo yeah. before I realized that these were just toppers and not, like, actual oh, game tables. These are really yeah. good. Yeah. I was so yeah. surprised. I was like, I, I looked at her, and I was like, hey, these are game toppers. And I started, like, pulling it up and stuff. I'm like... It's just sitting on top because it was yeah. so sturdy, and I was, like, resting on it and using no it. No joke. So I didn't realize. So this guy right here that's in the video. Berkey. Yeah, Berkey. He went ahead and was like, look at how sturdy these are, and was like, I'll jump up on the table for you, and was, like, trying to jump up on the table. I was like, oh, my gosh, you don't have to do that. Dude's going <laughs> like, to break a hip and trying to sell his tables. I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, I get it. They are very stable, <laughs> stable <laughs> sturdy All game <laughs> tables okay guys like it was crazy the amount of like punishment he was putting and in I'm them through i'm excited like i'm more willing to spend a thousand dollars on this than like a thousand dollar like cheaply you know or, yeah. or I should well, say less you can't superior really get a game, game table, table for a thousand, thousand bucks. bucks not a good right. one yeah. plus not this a good one, one i can yeah. take with me i can add it yeah. to a different table i can put it on a fold-up table i can like Move it around. All of I the hot games, games table. tables at Dice Tower had these on them. So I <laughs> played on these a bunch then. Our friend Dan has one. He's brought it to my house before and set it up. These are great. These are really good. Dan and King? Dan King has one, yeah. Dan, Dan King. King has one. Dan? Oh, yes, Dan wow. King. Dan one. King. Oh. The game that guy. Geek? Really? <laughs> Game Boy <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I've had a lot of experience <laughs> playing on these. You know Game Boy Geek? They are. We all do. Okay, <laughs> so uh, Alan says, these are cool, Facebook but how many games does this cost? How many burritos are you going to spend on this? Not that many burritos. It's like 400 uh, The more. least 400, expensive <laughs> one is $399, guys. Yeah. Which, yeah. it's actually not that. It, it depends on if you have a game table that you yeah. already like. Now, in our situation, we have a kitchen table. Yeah. That's just a kitchen table. And then we have yeah. a fold-up table. And then we've got, like, a couple desks around the house. 
So we 100% do not have anything like this. So this is great for us. Yeah. yeah. I have, and this, this time, too, he's got some new oh, mats. These mats oh, are my so goodness. Good. Yeah. There's like a oh. scythe based mat. There's like yeah. a kind of like a watery mat. The mats, There's too, they did the art on them. And it's one of those pieces of art that when you start looking at it, you find all these little hidden oh. things in them. Well, and I was like, oh, my gosh, look at they're fighting a dragon over there. It looks so cool. The dungeon like, map is really oh. cool, too, because it's kind of like a so good. crater with like kind of like the dungeons inside of it. Right. And it's all gray. And I'm like, oh, I want that. And I like the fact that they're portable. That makes things super nice and easy. Yeah, pretty easy to assemble, yeah. too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's like two pieces on the other side. Like, as yeah. far as when you take it apart, you slap together. them down, you push them together, this you screw in the little thing. I mean, it's very simple. This is nice enough that it's like, would I just take this with me to something like Arizona Game Fair where they just have like normal fold up tables? Would I throw just this on top it down. of it? I, like, I might just and take it with me. Whenever he was showing me these, just have it in your lap to play. They were on, the couch. on card tables. So as he's, like, yeah. jumping up on stuff and everything, he's, like, it's, like, on a card table. I'm, like, oh, my gosh. Like, this is insane. It's not tipping over. It's not moving. Like, yeah. it was crazy how nice these were. And then for this particular 2.0 one, they have the inlaid boards that have, like, a that are carved out with dragons mm. and stuff like yeah. that. Dogmite does this. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. He's partnering with Dogmite. And they also oh, have the little, they they have so the little slot where you can hold your cards, too. They had too. a red rain yeah. mat that was made yeah. by them that has that same, like, um, mm. that I don't know how to say the last name. is like Lucre or Markley, like art. It's very nice. The, like the art you see on Haven. Like oh, that okay. kind of green yep. the art. Oh, Lock Ryan Lockett art? Yes, that's oh, yeah. it. And Kabuki Kid, uh, that's a good thing to bring up. He also offers a mat storage solution since that's nobody seems funny. to know how to properly store game mats. 100% agree. They're little stand-up pieces, and there's tubes that you can have and put them in there. Which is like great if you don't already have 40-plus Super, mats. super nice. Here's where right. I'm talking about, like, the carved board yeah, right. recesses that. oh my goodness and then the dogmite does also mm -hmm. does like like dungeon master screens on there and stuff like that and then there's another company he partnered with that also has some stuff that clips directly onto it i like the fact that it's like aircraft aluminum like military grade aircraft aluminum mm -hmm. stuff that's stuff that like the military cots are made out of and those can hold like huge dudes in them and that, that's just canvas stretched huge out over dudes you well, get, if you need to have somebody stay at your house and you don't have like a place for them to stay you just put the game topper out you put your little blanket and your pillow up there well, for them. Use the game and then you're mat like, ah, oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> and then you can play games on your friend, <laughs> on your huge dude, and it'll create like terrain, you know? Oh my god. <laughs> I can tell neither one of you have huge dude friends. <laughs> I'm a huge dude friend. What are you talking about? I'm talking about huge dudes, Greg. Huge dudes. <gasps> oh huge my dudes. gosh. Huge dudes that lift dudes like bigly. <laughs> oh, so okay, Alan, I totally get that. Simple table works for you, and if that's that's your jam, then that's your jam. But yeah, I've never needed, felt like I needed one of these. But if you're in the market you do for have a this, large table yeah, though. we just have a nice big table. But if you're yeah. in the market for this, I think we can all attest the Here's fact the that these are the best quality. When you have less great space, bang these for your buck. Oh yeah. yeah, best bang for your buck. Yeah. Here's the thing for us. So we always have children, animals, whatever, jumping up on our stuff and moving all of our stuff huge around. Huge dudes. Yes, huge dudes that are trying to lay on top of there. Having one of these tables has always been. Something that we wanted to have, but it's always so expensive to get an actual table. You know, anything that's actually nice costs, I don't know, $2,500, bucks, 3000 dollars At, least. at, at so the much. very minimum. I've had cars that cost less. A than lot those, of them the those very those minimum. are like six, seven, eight. Like okay. once you start getting yeah. some bells and whistles, you're getting close to eight, yep. ten grand. Sometimes. Yeah. And I like this one too, sells a rail separately. So you can take, if you've got a double piece one, you can take the rail off and put it on half, and it makes it more like a three by three instead of the three by eight or whatever you have. So it's always been something that we wanted to Don't do. Don't talk about though. Continue on. But, I mean, the price is just stopping you, and you're like, oh, okay, you know, like maybe next year, maybe next year. With this here, it just makes it nice and easy because it's an inexpensive price point, and then you can move it to different things, yeah. you know? Affordable. Listen, if the god of mischief, Wicked Loki, says that it's good, I trust him. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like He's uh, never uh, been known to I lie. I feel like Wicked Loki is redundant. Like Wicked Loki. We never know been, Loki. I've, so far, Loki has never lied to me. <laughs> uh, wait a second. <laughs> never. And I like the fact that they These do have really nice really game nice. mats and everything. The yeah. mats are stitched borders and stuff like that. So, like, they're super thick. They're not yeah, going to do any sort of fraying or anything or, like, peeling off or anything weird. Yeah, so they have, like, some of the artists yeah. have done some different things do these. So it's oh, like, yeah. oh, yeah, here's, the, here's the like, a scythe-inspired mat. Here's, like, the Ryan. The Viking thing. one Lock is it. the Lock one it. where you can find all the hidden gems on right now. Oh, cool. Like, it's the Viking one that you got to get, guys. Which like, one's oh the best gosh. as a blanket for your huge dude friends? Um, 
These probably are pretty big mats. like <laughs> the space one, I would say, <laughs> so they can feel like comfortable, like you know, at ease. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you don't, you don't tell your, your huge because you know <laughs> huge dudes like Milky Ways. Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> and all of these pieces We're that they like have. Talking like Terry Crews size guys. All right. Oh, you mean like jacked guys? Yeah. Oh, We're I thought you, military, I bro. thought you meant like big chubby guys like no, me. No, they don't uh. have that in the military. Here's the other thing with a lot of like the game accessories and stuff. They're usually like 40, 50, 60 bucks. Well, and then like there. they're hard to clean and stuff. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like it's always like, uh, how do I clean this or where do I store this and stuff? All their stuff like basically like squishes down to one thing or comes out so you can like throw it in the dishwasher and stuff like a lot of it, yeah. i was super impressed with that i like the offers like all these different things like here's a game tote here's a thing that'll carry your the the actual tabletop yeah the game mat bag yeah so you got some different a options. little attached dice tower thing. i'm sold on this guy they're coming out with an acrylic are you like, guys okay that you can yeah put on. are you are you think i mean are you guys gonna back maybe I back yeah we're definitely looking into it yeah yeah, we're we're definitely gonna be doing something probably with this. Yeah. Yeah, definitely because these are tried and true, man. They're just they've been around a long time. Yeah. They're only getting better. And and that's exactly it. The two point oh's are like yeah. you can get an extra large leaf store. So you would freaking need that awesome. Your big table. You'd probably need that extra leaf. Here's probably. the stitching on the mats right I would, here. Guys. If I were to get this, I'd probably use it for the like little table by the kitchen area. Oh yeah, yeah. So that I could have like the main table and this on the other one. Well, but th that's the whole thing too. Is you do have a huge table where we only have a normal sized kitchen table. Yeah. So like having the rails around it or like yeah. having like it almost like extends set, your space. It right. does because you don't have to worry about stuff yeah. like falling off. I mean we lose. And you can hold your cards you know on the rim. how often I have to bend space. over to pick up cards that either she's thrown or my daughter's <laughs> dice that she throws <laughs> off the table constantly. Like I'm surprised I'm not like broken. Like oh you're doing crunches, rack. you know. All it's right. constant. One. All right. Then, and then my dog will be like, we have like a Jack Russell. So he's like, oh, cool. And he like picks up a dice in his mouth. I'm like, don't eat it, don't eat it, don't, don't eat it. Don't Greg, would you back this? Uh, I don't I don't think I'm in the market for this, but I would recommend people back this if they're looking for like a table. Yeah, for an inexpensive this table. Is, this yeah. is the best bang for your buck. Mm -hmm. I think so. Of anything out there. Dr. Glory Hog? If you're not in it for the table, at least look at the mats. The mats are worth it alone. That's I Yeah, the mats I, are really I great. The problem I have on this one is like I don't really want it's the like $400. A $60 I want like kind of like that $1,000 bundle. Like I'm looking at it. Definitely looking at it. We, I mean, obviously, it's a more expensive purchase than a $23 <laughs> Ford game that's yeah. a puzzle game. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. All I'm going to say is that we've been looking at these type of tables for oh, a oh, while. Yeah, like two, three years now. And we specifically saw this go up, and we were like, all right, well, we're going to replace the table in here. So we were looking for a table to fit our yeah. game topper we're gonna <laughs> so get we're like gonna get a hundred which table, table yeah which table are we gonna get to fit our game topper so topper. we can get the right game yeah. topper for it yeah and then that's what i like though is that real yeah bundle and then we're gonna get like can make it smaller so you can put it like on an ottoman or, or in the middle of the kitchen combined with our simple little ikea table or something that we're gonna get for a hundred or two hundred dollars yeah. and then that you have less than a thousand dollars worth of like super yeah. nice looking and game the quote table. unquote real tables are all thousands of dollars oh much. absolutely even the it's the cheapest ones are going to be it's two, three not grand. It's yeah. not even comparable, yeah. guys, honestly. I mean, the game toppers are the best bang for the buck You're on not that. getting exponentially better quality by getting a table right? than a topper. We don't talk about accessories a whole lot, but whenever I see something that's like, oh, my gosh, this is an amazing accessory. I think the last one we did was folded space, the, uh, the insert. Yeah, well, you did the, the electronic little timer Oh, and thing the electronic too. timer. Which that's right. That's right. Those are cute. Right. Those are cute. That's yeah. they sent us out when we wanted to talk about it. Sure. And I like that they have a small coffee table one that's a 3x3 three because three, that's the perfect size mat for things like Attack Wing. Right. Any of those like miniature games are usually mm -hmm. going to be a 3x3. Three three. I mean, if you're playing Malifaux, any miniature game is going to be a 3x3 three three usually. All right. And Battlecry says, I backed this. already have a large table, but I wanted to enhance the game area. Love all the videos Berkey has put out about these. I totally agree. He's very energetic. He's super sweet. I bet you give you a hug if you asked him to. So and Berkey's the carrying awesome. case. Before he yeah. got into the tables, you just saw him cosplaying at Game Cons. He'd be like <laughs> King Arthur or the Sheriff of Nottingham. He like always wears that hat, too. Whenever you yeah. see him at the convention, well, he's like he has a, a hat. It's awesome. Yeah. So before, they, they used to do like skits based around board games and stuff. That's and awesome. Content. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, he's, a, he's a cool guy. USA only. Sorry, Vincent. Okay. Yeah, the Wormwood ones are Oh, really? Is it only expensive. U.S.? He doesn't ship outside of U.S.? I guess well, not. Well, Vincent's talking about the timers, electronic timers. Oh, oh I thought he was oh, talking okay. about Apologies. I you, apologies. See how it says timers? USA only? I'm oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Reading comprehension. Sorry. That's why you're not a doctor. 
I need all my friends to back this, I says Ben. Was Timbers. <laughs> I thought that was not a doctor. Timbers. <laughs> Speaking of tremors, when's that game coming out? Oh, we just got the shipping notice for it. Did I we think. really? Yeah, we did. Ooh, from Terror. Terror beneath. Was it Terror beneath? Terror below. below. Terror below. Yeah. Below. <laughs> it's a great Oh my gosh. All right, guys. Let's see here. Um, what else do we want to talk about? Anything else? No. By the end of the you thing. You guys going to anything soon? Any events or anything? You guys going, going to Gen you doing Gen, Gen Con? I'm right? doing Gen Con. Yeah. That's, that's not right. too far off. If no, that's like right around the corner. Yeah. It's going to happen super fast. I have a big fast. event happening in five weeks. I'm going to graduate. <gasps> I'm going to have my BS and BS. You already Business have a science. Congratulations, <laughs> Dr. Glory Hog. That, it'll be an actual degree that I can actually use for employment, not like <laughs> it's the one be that awesome. I have. Not, not my your, internet doctor. Not your online faux degree. And then not my... It's Fox degree. Oh, I'm uh, sorry. My I have apologies. A Fox degree. <laughs> and then I'm going to work him like a workhorse. I'm going to be like, get on there. Start doing things She's online. Play like that one song. Whip it. What is that? I'm Whip like, it good. Well, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Dun. That plays Whip every Friday it. night. Whip do we have good. to pay Devo now? Into shape. Yeah, we do. Shape Not it up. Oh, yourself. sorry. <laughs> Whip me like a racehorse. <laughs> Thank you for everybody that, that joined us today. We always. Take my horse to the. No, We always appreciate all your commentary and suggestions and everything let us know Most what your it. favorite you, know you did your favorite kickstarters for the week are because we all had our favorite picks i'm still i'm still on the fence about pangea See like i'm down with cryptics preta porte well gosh i have, to have too many they things all too. look good honestly i think yeah. this is a good batch this this, this well week. it's gonna be like this i think until gen con yeah. where we're just gonna get some really great ones on i'm ready to drop all the board games this week for the table for the table dinogenics and dice throne adventures Oh, yeah, Dice Throne Adventures is coming out. Ah, oh, the spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. All right, guys. Uh, where can we check you out at, Greg? Hooked on Geek. Uh, check Twitter. him out here. Look at this guy. Hot. Meow. Check him out. Uh, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. We have a new audio podcast every Monday. You Me started up a Stephanie. podcast? We did, yeah. I know Stephanie has one, yes. but I didn't know she you She lets me co-host with her, yeah. The Ghost Host Aww, so The nice. Ghost Host so Show. Nice. Yeah, known as Hooked the on Geek. The Ghost Host Show. What about you? Where can people find you? And we're gonna Twitter, find you. Instagram, <laughs> Facebook, uh, under Dr. Glory Hog. You if might you even find me on Glory Hound. Who if knows? you haven't seen our FOMO video, well, make sure to right. check that out. That because, was yeah, that it got missed on Dice Tower. It was supposed to be on Dice Tower's oh. thing, and then they played the wrong video, and I was like, no, that I put sucks. so much work into that. No, check it out, it guys. Was so it's funny. Fun. It's so relatable. <laughs> Everyone's been there. Very relatable. You're at home, like, I wish I was at the con. Like, you were at you're Origins. Walking, and yeah, I was you're looking at pictures, and you're just like, you were drooling over people at Dice Tower Con. Just, you can't do all the things. <laughs> with like a bunch of like the skybound people and stuff and I'm like I know everybody in this picture and I'm like oh there's Kim Vickos I'm like I know everybody in this picture I want to be there Derek said hi by the way to you guys Aww. the funk said hi <laughs> the he funk did. Dr. He did. Funk Oh, that was so nice wow. I think he did I'm just assuming oh <laughs> <laughs> alright guys we will see you guys all next week